Alright rats, today Hyena has 11 tips or tricks for you for getting good on shoreline including some nasty angles little bit of parkour tricks and some camping spots uh, I mean sniping spots okay now you don't have to use them but it's nice to be aware of them time is rubles so let's not waste anymore Starting with number one, the burning gas station entry. There is a way to get inside without losing a single hair from your mustache. I promise. Just get right in the middle, square up with the first shelf, and aim for the last word written on it. Then power jump, and now you have access to a safe and two juicy green boxes. The way out is the same. Square up aim for him between the vending machine and the shelf thank you next number two the rock passage extract check to save yourself some walking and time head over to top of the north stairs in the west wing from the third floor aim north and you should be able to see the green smoke if the extract is open number three the bus station ambush Starting from the blue dumpster, get on the fence and then do a side jump onto the red roof. I have no idea why there is a bush up here. Just just take it. Ah, everyone's favorite, the resort. We need to talk about the lighting here. Number four, the lighting. Depending on what time of the day it is, there will be a bright side. If the time is PM, the east side will be lit. If it's AM, the west side will be lit. That doesn't mean only one of the wings will be bright. It applies for all the corridors and all angles. You might think you're sitting nicely in the dark, well hidden, well, only from your point of view. Be extra careful when sniping from wing to wing. Sometimes, when you can't see shit through a window, remember that the enemy may have a perfect view on you. Now, when the weather is proper bad, it's raining and cloudy, it will be the same for both the east and the west. Number 5, plus 6, holding the bridge plus the chat flank. While in the east, the most common spot to hold the bridge is from this little room because it gives players a very tight angle to hold, they get a false sense of security. This spot is popular and thus very predictable and also very limited to what you can cover. It's also open for a flank from the stairs and you will hear them coming too late. Instead, Hyena recommends going up one floor and taking a seat on the chair. From up here, you can cover a lot more than just the bridge and also every rat's favorite room number 301. Being up here gives you options, with each decision giving you even more options. When shit hits the fan, you can pull back deep inside the east wing, silently drop down the hall to the second floor, take cover in the room behind you or jump out the balcony like a boss. Sprint up against it and press jump to shoot yourself on the roof of the east tunnel. You won't break your legs unless you are overweight. Things to know, Nikita is not gonna let you get inside the administration building, nor you can go back in the balcony. You can camp this spot for easy kills or you can get right back in the east wing to bamboozle everyone. Number 7. The power station sniper. For the next trick you will need a friend. From the east side of the power station, get on top of the shipping containers. Let him crouch to give you a boost to the roof. I would recommend leaving your backpack before going up, because it can give away your position. And also, not to go up here. Yes, you can see a lot more, but there's nothing to hide behind. 
you can cover a huge chunk of the map from up here the key is to get here as early as possible best scenario would be to do it when you spawn at the arc number eight nine and ten the power station solo if you hate everyone or everyone hates you and you don't have friends to play with you can still have fun at the power station this first spot is very fast and easy to get to and it gives you some high ground and some good angles it's good to know that you can also rotate from this little gap here when the heat is on this second spot takes a little bit more effort to get to and it's more like an ambush position when you get here let your eyeballs touch the bricks and do a side jump you can jump between all three of those things very unpredictable and very hard to spot once you are here don't forget to drop your backpack to have a smaller silhouette next the grenade overlap maneuver this is an advanced tactic for entering the hole in the west wing when there is resistance on the first floor works with m67 grenades because of the slow timer your enemy doesn't know which type of grenade you're using everyone holding an angle of the entrance from this area including the stairs will be forced to pull back you will make the push before the grenade goes off calmly walking to the first landing on the stairs the element of surprise here is huge that's why you enter walking instead of sprinting so you can be able to shoot get next to the ramp in the middle of it aim for the light on the ceiling then without moving your mouse throw a grenade sprint plus jump to shoot yourself up and from there you walk in like a boss you should immediately take the stairs if you are unsure if there are enemies further down the hallway stay on the left as the grenade will get you on the stairs m67 also has the biggest radius <laughs> guys i want to thank everyone who is here please leave your hate down in the comment section or maybe you like the video let me know let me know if you want to see more cover a different map maybe more parkour more tactics more angles maybe i'll see you soon now take care